Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this episode, I want to talk um, again about um, MMD or Miku Miku Dance, basically a virtual dance avatar that's kind of famous. And these days, people actually use this as a real-time character for um, like YouTube presentation. Um, yeah, so basically, um, this is the character that I downloaded, and this is the character I downloaded it from Deviant Art. There's a lot of MMD characters that you can download, uh, but you can always make your own character. It's almost uh, it's similar to Freud Studio. Um, Freud Studio is also very popular. It's not this one was not made for dancing, but it's actually more for like avatar for live performance or in VR. Probably really popular in Japan, but this uh, Hatsune Miku has been around for a while, and this is one of the most famous character, uh, Vocaloid character. And so basically the idea is to pick your characters or design your char your own character. Um, and then you grab the pose and motion that someone already made on the internet based on um, certain uh, music, um, like a song or music that other people also created or you make yourself using Vocaloid and you combine it together. Um, there's an app that actually does it, the actual MMD app itself, but we're gonna use Blender um, because if I'm not wrong, with Blender you can kind of tweak it and then you, you make it ready for other app like maybe Unity or maybe for VR performance. Here's a setup that's already working um, so I'm gonna play back a little bit. So you can see the character is dancing and it's uh, synced to this song that I also I downloaded from internet. So there's a character, dance motions, and the music or the song itself. That's all synthesized, and this is really interesting for me because I I want to always like see how easy it is to actually make an AR dance performance that's actually uh, kind of entertaining and you can always from here you can always file export as GLB and this is actually working some people actually export it as FBX but I think GLB works really well in this case I tested it um, as USDZ somehow there is something strange with USDZ uh, if I try to export it as GLB and then as USDZ, there's something uh, maybe with the sh something with the shader or the hierarchy of the or the pose that USDZ doesn't like. So as GLB, however, it works really well, uh, really well. And so I'm gonna show you. This is actually running on Blender 2.82, and it's it is actually pretty fast, and it's almost real time. And you can see the cell, the cell shading, everything works perfectly. It's actually quite beautiful. Um, you can see the original model, but this is the flat mode, and I'm using this uh, render engine. You can use you can use actually EV. So with EV, it has a different look. If I'm not wrong, let me. Yeah, with EV, um, you can actually make it flat. But I kind of real I really like the workbench because you can just use a uh, flat instead of. Um, studio or some, we can just pick flat and you, you can still have shadow if you like so it's a little bit more 3d some people like for a character like this for NPR or non photorealistic stylized character some people actually prefer uh, flat no shadow cavity a little bit of cavity doesn't matter uh, it's not bad sometimes people like to have outline as well so outline we can have different color of outline it's kind of nice as well if you like that and the idea is of course you can perhaps make the background green and use the green background to then use uh, OBS I think to overlay it on top of your other video like maybe if you are playing game but you want this character to mimic your expression, etc., and you're gonna have another setup. So um, let's see. 
what should I talk about? Uh, yeah, the, the process, okay. Basically, you start with a, you pick a character, you download the character, like in this case, this character, and you just download it. And after you download the character, you want to bring it into Blender, so you use an, uh, an add-on, it's called Cats, Cats Blender plugin. It's been around for a while, almost three years. And it's been updated for Blender 2.80 as well. So there's a lot of documentations and this is the add-on Cats Blender plugin. Now it is working for Blender 2.80 and up. And this actually, there's a good documentation here. This, this add-on actually does quite a lot. So let, let me try, start from scratch. So empty blender. I already have the add-on, I think. Cats. Okay. Edit preference cats. Okay. So now let's try to import a model. I'm just gonna be doing the basic stuff. Downloads. I think this is my character. Where is it? Okay, appearance, costume, arrangement, Miku. There's this PMD, there's also PMX. Let's just pick PMX. All right, so we get our character and check it out. This is a uh, EV, I think EV render engine. Yep, it's looking pretty good already. I can use a bit of light, sunlight. And maybe area light. All right. If you want the uh, something that's a little bit more flat, let let me save this first actually. So MMD demo. Looks quite nice, except maybe the ribbon, this one have uh, the wrong shader. Um, by the way, the character also have a quite interesting shader. Um, that works really well with Eevee. The shader itself, let's have a look. So a single mesh. This is all the material. This is a uh, Japanese characters for the name of the material. Let's pick one. So there's a like a special cartoon shader here. So if you ever want to bake it properly, you need to plug in a principal shader so to ensure it, it works properly. So that's with the character. And if you want to bring the motion data, you find the motion that you want, like there's a lot here, poses and motion data. Um, there's a lot of famous songs as well for Miku, like Tell Your World, or in my case, I actually picked the one, I think it's called Too Cute. So you s simply select the character, I think, and you go File, Import, Miku Miku Dance Motion. and pick your song okay this is the one too cute vmd and the scale actually by default it's one it should be 0 0.01 and import you can mirror the performance etc it's all basic stuff so now your character is dancing and it's ready and then the whole performance is 8700 frames something so you already have your character and yeah you just at this point actually you just need to put uh, the mp3 for the song or just download the, the song from youtube and then put it into blender if you want the flat shading like what i showed you earlier from ev you switch to workbench and you pick the flat mode and you want to see the texture you want to hide the bone 
there you go maybe a little bit of shadow okay maybe not cavity yep cavity is good outline it's up to you outline is really actually quite nice if if I zoom in uh, okay there you see there's very subtle outline there beautiful and control option spacebar for full screen and you can see the character dancing it's real time it's really really beautiful and um, okay before I fold that I also want to make the background getting okay so it's easy enough you just pick a green very strong green or this RGB yeah this green if you use OBS you can overlay on top of YouTube video but this is of course a big uh, dancing performance right you actually want to maybe perhaps use your own performance um, so that's actually something that I'm still uh, tinkering with I want to use my my iPhone or iPad to get the motion and then pass it into this character this character by the way also have uh, some shape keys oops except for the hair interesting yeah character can talk uh, so virtual avatar is gonna be something that's really gonna be common so yeah maybe it's a good introduction to this kind of uh, kind of ideas but anyway if you want to ever bake it like I said file export GLB and then you simply export it into something like Adobe Aero for augmented reality and it's gonna work but you have uh, keep in mind you have to you have to bake the shader properly for each part of the model slightly tricky if the, your character like I think if I'm not wrong the character this character is actually overlapping it has overlapping a lot of jet you need to have um, you need to use Udin because it has a lot of overlapping parts yeah but it's depending on the on the material as well well yeah but anyway it will work this dance performance will work so if you want to bring your video you just switch this one to video sequencer and use the sequencer and preview just simply drop the video here I might actually just show it to you so the dance motion is around 30 frames per second and you want to bring in a video to cute Miku oh this one's from YouTube let's try yeah, it's probably copyrighted so it's gonna show you a little bit If you use a full screen, it's actually in real time. You can you have to trust me. It's a uh, it's running pretty well on my MacBook. So it's if you use um, computer with GPU, it's gonna be a lot faster. So right. So that's basically it. Um, it's pretty simple. But uh, by the way, Freud Studio this character model also something you can customize and make your own character and if i'm not wrong this is kind of sort of compatible with mmd i'm not maybe not 100 percent i'm not quite sure because this is more for like virtual avatar that you can put on top of your uh, youtube if you are doing like a live game performance you can put this character on top of the game and then you can talk so it's more expressive it's almost like a an emoji or memoji but yeah so basically that's how you do it um, using blender okay hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye